through all of that time, who was helpful to you? Who supported you? The staff and the people involved in the project, we had quite a strong team mm -hmm. of people involved in the mm -hmm. project from the staff to uh, committee members. Hospital administration was very, very supportive. Mm -hmm. um, the hospital administration at that time had come in with the fresh ideas about decentralized decision making mm -hmm. and they could see how primary nursing was a specialized application right. of that and they were quite proud of what we were doing. On the other hand, the majority of my colleagues in the nursing department, mm -hmm. the majority of the faculty, mm -hmm. um, either didn't want to hear about it, thought it was a flash in the pan, mm -hmm. expected it to go away, talked about the Hawthorne effect in a derogatory way, and um, simply really weren't interested. Mm -hmm. Was this a similar experience when primary nursing was being implemented in other institutions around the country? Somewhat. I don't think it was ever quite as strong as the very first mm -hmm. time here. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and as, and as I experienced helping other people implement it, mm -hmm. I kind of knew how to deal with some of those problems. Right. Anticipate them. Right. I'll never right. forget we were implementing it at a major hospital in Los Angeles. And they had a diploma school uh, mm -hmm. affiliated there, and the faculty asked for a meeting with the internal coordinator and I, the external mm -hmm. coordinator. And we sat down with the faculty, and um, they thought it was just a wonderful thing that we were doing this project on primary nursing. And would we be willing to undo it so <laughs> that they could have the student nurses learn team leading, mm -hmm. please? Right. I said, sorry, yeah. you can't undo it. It's like you can't put people back in a right. box after they've once gotten out. Right. They were quite upset. 